now there is an extension of this question where they are asking you the same thing but in a different manner the same question they could have said that a 33 year old nurse is coming and her right pupil is larger than the left pupil again she is not having any diplopia and uh, she is having headache the question is that findings helpful in diagnosing the etiology include all except so which finding is not going according to the etiology so this patient is having the n isochoria where the pupil is dilated okay so we have got three things in our mind one is your what are the three things that i have kept in my mind it could be the um, ad's tonic pupil then i can also think about the third nerve palsy and then i can also think about the pharmacological blockage these are the three things uh, about which we are thinking okay now let us see what are the things they are saying number one they are saying 2 mm of right upper lid ptosis can this patient have ptosis definitely yes because if i am having a third nerve palsy then i can have the paralysis of lps muscle and lps muscle will lead to ptosis so definitely if i am asking the um, uh, this uh, history of ptosis or if i am looking at the sign of ptosis this will help me in finding the etiology number 2 is rapd when do you get rapd rapd we get in the optic nerve defect is optic nerve uh, defect found in cases of an isochoria no because optic nerve is a sensory nerve so optic nerve is not going to give me the an isochoria so it's not number c a small right hypertropia develops on down gaze can i get hypertropia on down gaze now this is a tricky one because i know everybody must be thinking that uh, when i have the third nerve palsy when i have the third nerve palsy then basically the eye is down plus out so according to that you will say that this option is also wrong but no they are saying specifically about the down gaze so when the patient is looking in the downward gaze which muscle is going to use inferior rectus and this inferior rectus is supplied by third nerve so yes there could be a third nerve palsy so if the patient is having the third nerve palsy when he is trying to look in the downward gaze this muscle is not acting inferior rectus not acting so we can have a small amount of hypertropia so yes this is also correct this is also correct and we have a segmental contraction of the iris segmental contraction of the iris we can found in the ad's tonic pupil it is also found in the ad's tonic pupil so yes this could also be there so what should be our answer then what is not helping us in finding the etiology of this anisochoria it is a right relative afferent pupillary defect